What's up guys, I'm Tom Epsilon and welcome to a brand new transfer announcement video and we have done it guys! Welcome to Liverpool, Roberto Firmino, one of the biggest Brazilian talents, 23 year old central attacking midfielder who can play in various positions, he has joined Liverpool subject to a medical his original fee is 22 million plus add-ons and bonuses which can rise to 29 million pounds and when I saw this news you know I've been reporting about Firmino in the last two or three transfer videos for weeks you have been uh, uh, watching me talking about Firmino but I was still very doubtful because you know Manchester United have been linked with Firmino as well and I was uh, very cautious in that um, if uh, Man United's interests were genuine, you know, we didn't know how, how far they are going with the, with the transfer talks, with the negotiations, but Liverpool, uh, three or four days ago, approached Firmino and the, uh, Hoffenheim and the um, ENR flew to uh, South America, to Chile, where the Copa America is had, and they spoke with his agent. We agreed a fee with Hoffenheim, and last night the news broke that we... We are in. Uh, we are very close to the to um, the negotiations, the uh, final part. And this morning, Liverpool FC have confirmed that we signed Roberto Firmino. And I was just like this. Now get in there! It was like the best goal of the season celebration for me when I found it out on Twitter and Facebook and all the other various Liverpool websites that I read. Let me know guys, what do you think about this signing? I, as you can see, I'm absolutely buzzing my tits up here. Because this, this is the signing that I've been waiting for. This is the signing that gets the summer truly rolling. We signed uh, free Bosman transfers, free, uh, you know, free transfers. And also a young 18 year old center back. But all the Liverpool fans around the world have been waiting for that big signing to kick off the summer and this is it guys Liverpool's history is the second biggest transfer Roberto Firmino welcome to Anfield I really hope that you can you can become a legend here and I'm sure that Coutinho had a major part in this talking to Firmino during the Copa America during the training camp and convincing him that Anfield and Liverpool FC is a great club to be for a Brazilian, Lucas is also from Brazil and he is here as well so I'm, I'm sure that uh, Coutinho had a major part to play in this and um, some Liverpool fans had some concerns that he's a two of a similar player to Coutinho but it's not actually true even though they are both attacking midfielders who like to play behind the striker Firmino is more like a flare player who likes to run in the box and, you know, uh, he had uh, more shots uh, last season than even Ryan Sterling, who sometimes played up front for, for Liverpool. And uh, Firmino actually scored <coughs> 32 goals in the past two seasons in the Bundesliga. And for a, an attack, for a central attacking midfielder, that's, uh, that's absolutely amazing. And also, he, he got 21 assists in, the, in these last... Uh, two seasons and uh, and it's uh, it's just absolutely brilliant and he 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 had um, he completed more dribbles per game 4.2 dribbles per game than uh, most of the players in, than Europe only four players in Europe completed more dribble, dribbles last season per per game than Firmino and uh, he also is a very you know, um, uh, clean, he has a very clean injury record. He featured in 33 of uh, Hoffenheim's 34 league fixtures each season for the last three years. And that's absolutely brilliant. I'm, I'm, I'm loving that because, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, these flat players can be injury prone. And uh, yeah, Coutinho, just to compare, to compare Coutinho, uh, who is Liverpool's uh, top, top dribbler, he completed 3.1 dribbles per game. Firmino completed 4.2 dribbles per, per game. So he is exactly what we need behind the strikers. Uh, a flare player. A uh, player who can go past people. I've been saying this for so many 
weeks and months that Liverpool need more players who can beat a defender, who can drop drop their shoulder and just dribble past people, and who who, who can uh, supply through balls because sometimes, well. In most games, we have been relying on Coutinho last season and only Coutinho to unlock defenses. And Coutinho is what, 22 years old? He's a young player and sometimes he had off games. And then Liverpool just lacked creativity and we just couldn't unlock the defenses, uh, the smaller sides who parked the bus and hit, me, hit us on the counter. And Firmino gives exactly that. His finishing, you know, is, is pretty decent for an attacking midfielder. Uh, he he's uh, he hasn't scored uh, like uh, a bucket load amount of goals, but he's only 23 year old, years old. So that means that his best years are ahead of him, and uh, and he can uh, you know thread through balls to the strikers. So what now Liverpool need to do is actually sign a striker which complements this style of play, this style of football, and also Firmino is a hard worker, I mentioned this in previous videos, he actually tackles a lot, he tracks back, he works his ass off for the team, and he will slot in perfectly for Liverpool, into Liverpool's high pressing, high tempo, attacking uh, style of play, which we love to do, so let me know guys, what do you think about this, um, because Firmino works his socks off defensively, as well, he battles to win the ball back and he, he will never be caught lazy, hovering and waiting around to be found in space like Balotelli was so many times last season. Uh, and, uh, and also, um, you know, uh, we, need a we need to sign a striker who complements Firmino and Coutinho and who can, who can slot into this, this high pressing, high tempo play. Uh, a striker like Bakka or Rondon, I really hope we steer clear of Benteke and the likes of that. Uh, and Bakka would be perfect. If we signed Bakka and uh, Klein and also a defensive midfielder, either Axel Witzel or Ilaramendi, I think uh, our lineup would be pretty brilliant. And I would welcome, of course, Mateo Kovacic to the club as well, but we are not sure if Liverpool are interested in, in him or not, because in England uh, not many journalists have been reporting this Kovacic rumour, only in Italy, and maybe Inter wants to start a bidding war on Kovacic, so we will wait and see uh, what happens. Uh, guys, I'm so excited now, for ac actually for the new season and also for, for more signings, because this really clearly indicates a signal of intent. This is a signal of intent by Liverpool FC that we are back in business, we want to challenge for the top four, we will not let this club slide down to mid-table. So, and, and also Firmino actually is now a slightly better player than Raheem Sterling. In, if we sell Sterling for 50 million and bring in Firmino, Firmino for 29 million, I think that's a perfect replacement and a brilliant piece of business. And uh, we can invest the the 20 million remaining into signing more players. I really hope we sign a striker, a right back and maybe another midfielder. Let me know what do you think about this in the comments below. I think our lineup would be if we sign Klein, then Klein, Skirta, Sacco, Moreno, of course Mignolet in goal, um, Milner, Emre Can and Henderson midfield um, and uh, Storage or back up front and uh, Coutinho and Firmino on either side of them or or we could go with two midfielders Henderson and uh, Emre Can or Henderson and Milner in midfield and then we could go with Lalana, Coutinho and Firmino behind Bakka or Sturridge. Let me know what do you think about that 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 uh, that whole uh, starting 11 in the comments below and thanks for watching guys smash the likes if you enjoyed it see you later have a lovely day goodbye